We venture today, slowly sailing south, past the majestic Austral Mountains, imposing sentinels of Antarctica. Its alluring beauty welcomes us to the mystery of white, to its serene icecape of its glacial cathedrals, and to its bewitching gardens under the ice, teeming with life and a symphony of colors. Kyoto, Kyoto, Kyoto. Growing up in my little town in Mexico, um, I didn't know much about it. I, uh, it wasn't a big issue. Now I, I know a little bit more. I know about um, the ice melting in the North, South Poles. When I was a kid, February was the time where things were thawing out and it was getting ready to start playing football and going outside and not having to put five, six layers of clothes on. Sledding time was done. I feel the difference in uh, climate and uh, cold, and I don't like cold. It's a whole, your, your body is going to go into shock and your thinking is going to be totally different than when you're used to having everything around you at ease. If everything was to be cold, it would be different. People don't like to go out in the cold weather, so they're going to have to make shorter trips to go to the store and, you know, gather up fill up the pantries or fill up the closet with the warm clothes and make sure they have uh, heat. My plants, when I plant my plants, uh, never they go grow, grow out. It's cold, it's getting warmer, and where it used to be too hot, it's getting What are we going to do when people start fighting over territory to grow plants so that we can eat? When recycling be kind of became a big deal when I was a, a younger kid, a little later, but um, we learned about you know what we do affects the climate when I was younger. Children have a tendency to grow up in ignorance of what they're not taught. Opportunity that we have for children to learn about it uh, is around us every day. Ice is really cold and it melts into um, regular water. In our refrigerator, it has to be at least at our coldest to get our things cold. Sometimes we might just see deer in snow trying to find a place to um, live, to get a home. I love the mountains and I love the snow on them and I love just the way that they look when there is snow on the mountains after a fresh powder. Helps the animals that live in Antarctica. Ice is basically water because if it melts, it's just water. And water is basically ice. Water can't go away. Cold because, like, if you're cold, then you can go outside and you can experience the coldness. But then you go back inside and you can warm up with a blanket. El deshielo produce más más calor, lo cual provoca los incendios forestales en el estado de en este estado o en en cualquier parte del mundo. Our lifeline is water. It's essential. Um, we got to have it. The effects are long term. They're not going to happen tomorrow. They're not going to happen next year. Most of our experience of climate is in how we react to that emotionally. It makes me think about my son and about future generations more than anything. How they're going to have to deal with our mess and clean it up and the lack of responsibility that we've had up until now is is sad. Well, I'm not sure that the Earth will recover, but I think that the um, the amount of time it's taken is increasing because we're inventing technology so much quicker, and I think that the rate is just exponential. Well, one of my favorite moments in Latin American literature is um, the beginning of Gabriel Garcia Marquez, 100 Years of Solitude, which I read in Spanish, but I'm going to try to translate it. Uh, Many years later, when faced with the firing squad, 
Colonel Aureliano Buendía remembered the day in which his father took him to discover ice. Surrounded by iridescent waters, full of life and death, never ceasing to transform themselves in a multiplicity of tantalizing blues and greens. Listen, be attentive. Do you hear the clamor of the ice-cold horizon? Drip, drip, drip. Three times worn, the Antarctic melts slowly, continually. Those are the visionary tears, droplets of pain, bemoaning our environmental transgressions. Listen to me. Take good care of your home. <laughs>